The next stop is on the radar radio. Stand clear of the closing doors, please. Yeah. Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. My God, stay solid, Rocky in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, How are sir, you, bro? man. I'm doing good. How you doing? I ain't seen you in like literally two years almost. So Zoom man, days, man. I'm telling you. I'm How telling you been? I've been mean, good for real, for real, man. I was in the housing market for a little bit. That shit whooped my ass, but you know, went through the little trials and tribulations, and you know, I settled in a nice little townhouse for right now. But hopefully, I'm I'm aiming to get it back in the housing market later this year. You know. Uh, you in the housing market, you said. Yeah, the housing market. So you were just trying to get a crib? Yeah, bro. You know, I moved to Atlanta. Um, mm-hmm. After shit went up, you know, I just took the risk, jumped to Atlanta. But I didn't really have a plan. You know, now I'm really understanding how important it is to have a plan. Mm-hmm. You know, because at first I was just kind of just going with the move. And, you know, like I said, in the housing market and, you know, a lot of shit happened. But, you know, I'm, I'm getting older. I'm learning. And, you know, we're here now. Two, two years out since we last seen each other, you know what yes, I'm saying? Sir. I'm glad I'm glad to see that you're uh you're in a new space. You know what I'm yes, saying? Sir, head, yes, your headspace too. Yeah, uh, yeah, appreciate it, man. Yeah, nah, cause it's funny that <laughs> first of all, starting off the interview was saying you've been dealing with the housing market is crazy. Cause <laughs> I don't think anybody ever started off an interview with me like that. Bro, cause that's been like my main thing, just trying to get my personal life situated, you okay. know what I'm saying? To where I can really focus on music, you know. Mm. A lot of artists, like a lot of young artists, don't really know how important that is to really find that balance. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I just had to drop that knowledge right quick. Mm. So what what has the what was the housing market doing to you? What was like what was stressing you out the most? Honestly, I think for real, for real, I think I was a little too picky. Mm-hmm. But it'll be shit like just driving 45, 50 minutes, go see a house, and you'll look at it for like five minutes, and then you're like this trash. You, yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it just take time out of your day, mm. and um. You know, a wise man once told me, you know, he always standing over there, but you got to simplify your life, mm-hmm. you know, and I'm really learning that. So I just wasn't simplifying my life to where I can really focus on my passion, mm. you know what I'm saying, and my career, honestly. So what what else did you have to do to simplify your life to get you to that point or to help um, forward you to that point? I had to simplify my life by cutting ties with a lot of things, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, a lot of bad habits, um, just moving reckless. You know, if it don't benefit me, just leave it alone. Right. You know, and that's what that's really what I'm learning. Um, setting pre- different preventatives so you don't got to go through extra hoops every time you're trying to achieve something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's you know, just learning. Uh, I'm 23 now. I blew up when I was like 19. Yeah. So you know, just went out and ventured off and learned. Summer 2020. Yeah. Almost three, almost three years now. I'm telling you, time fly. And not for real, man. Cause I remember when we first met, you were just like going through the motions. I think the uh, the Uzi remix had just been announced and just dropped, and it's like, yeah. it's like, I think it's interesting, kind of like getting to. I think you're the first artist who I've had come back since the Zoom days who had like one of those viral records on TikTok that kind of changed their life, and now is like here three years later and still making music. And yeah. I think that's so interesting because it's like it's something to be said because it's like you look at back then and and how that whole situation pans out with, you know, Party Girl blowing up, TikTok, uh-huh. you have the record deal. But then, like, I think it's important that we discuss, like, the after part of that, too. It's like, what did you personally go through after Party Girl came out? Man, I went through a lot. I went through a lot, for real, for real. I feel like I wasn't really... Because I blew up during Corona, like like you said. Everything was, yeah. like, on the phone, so I didn't really enjoy it. I didn't really... My song hit number one, 21 on the Billboard, mm. and I didn't even really see that in person. You know what I'm saying? I didn't really, I didn't perform it. I know I wasn't outside. Everything was shut down. So a lot of the stuff was just, like you said, on the phone. And that don't really give you the full effect. You feel like you kind of accomplished your dream, but then you feel like it's kind of like teasing you type, you know? Mm-hmm. It's like you're right there, but you ain't really, you're not really seeing it. You're not feeling it all the way. So, and then it was just like stuff in my personal life, you know, um, just going through just different life shit, you know what I'm saying? And just just distract me from really enjoying what I had. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause you kinda you also could get like so caught up in the in the quickness of the virality of the record too. It's yeah. just kinda like you just kinda get like zoned in on that and then you know once Uzi hops on it, then you get zoned in even more. And then you could kinda start to like the other things around you could and you correct me if I'm wrong, but they could start falling apart or falling to the side or becoming kinda like things that are in the back of your mind when they should be like the things that you're paying attention to right now. Yeah, it's kinda like 
it's like that sometimes, then it's also the reverse sometimes. Like, it's sometimes you you so tuned in to the personal life, too, that you forget, like, oh, shit, like, I've really got something cooking up cooking right. up over here. Let me focus on here. Then it's like, damn, I need to focus on this to keep this over here, you know, everything balanced. Like, you might have a relationship, you know, it's kind of, you got to find a balance with the relationship and being an artist. That's hard. I'm still learning how to do that. Yeah. Um, friendships, you know, you want to help people, but it's like you got to help yourself before you go back and help everybody else. So, mm. you know, I just had to learn for real. For real. I was putting a lot of people first before myself. I didn't really absorb my spotlight. You know what I'm saying? Put my face behind the record. A lot of things I could have did different. Mm. What would know? be like the one thing that you wish you, like if there was one thing in particular that you could go back and change, what would you change? Mm. I wouldn't change nothing for real. Cause I wouldn't say I regret, like I learned, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You know, I still, I, I got great music on the way. Um, the, I'm making moves that's gonna benefit me. Consistent singles last year too? Yeah, 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 exactly. I, I got to release a, um, my project, Why So Larceny. Mm -hmm. I got to release that. Um, that was my first, yeah, that was my first project I dropped independently. Mm -hmm. um, everything came out of my pocket, you know what I'm saying? Just putting things together. I had help from my team, you know what I'm saying? Um, and we was able to release that independently. And then for real, for real, now it's just focusing on the future. So I wouldn't really change anything because it got me to this point. Right. You know? With the independent, dropping the project independently, like how for you, obviously everything coming out of pocket, of course, but like how was that process for you? Because that was obviously like the first time that you had put like a project like that out independently yeah. um, versus, you know, when you were with the label. So how did that kind of... How, what was that process like for you kind of going through the motions of the ins and outs of trying to just do everything yourself or, you know, with the, your team? Uh-huh. Um, I would say it was kind of hard because I'm really learning how important it is to actually build relationships and keep relationships. Like, I had, for instance, all right, so I had seven songs on my EP, but mm -hmm. I had 14 producers. And they they weren't really producers I had relationships with so it's kind of like we contacted random people from here 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 <laughs> right different time zones and you know everything was just scattered so now like i said i'm just learning how important it is to really lock in with certain people and really build relationships just to make the process easier yeah you know um but it was it was crazy dropping independently but once you once you get your system down i mean it's, it has benefits Right, it'd be crazy with the producer shit because they really do be like all over the world too. All over the world. Like, I think I had somebody 14. here. I wanted to put out their freestyle on DSPs. I'm like, where was the producer from? They're like Russia. I'm like, huh? What? Yeah, <laughs> I'm telling you. And they're bro, right, they so talented. Like, oh, D talented though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not taking anything away hell. from them. They're talented as fuck. But it'll just be like some just random person over here, over here, over here, and it's like, what the hell? They'd like, be a kid too. It'd be like somebody who's like 15 years you. old or 16 years old. I'm telling you. But yeah, I'm um, just learning how to really get everything the system down for for the business side because you know a lot of people don't really a lot of young artists get in the game they know how to make songs they know how to rap but mm -hmm. they don't really know anything about the business so mm -hmm. that's you know that's that's important too you got to focus on that that's where my mind is like expanding on my music but also pay attention to the business side right and that's why i always tell people too i'm like you really got to think about the business side because it's like you know you were 19, so you were a little older, but I met so many artists who were like 15, 16, 17, mm -hmm. and they signed like record deals, and then, you know, things go bad, things go left, ah, bing, bang, boom, and they like, then they 19, which is where the age you were when you first signed, but then they're 19, and they're like, damn, like, I didn't read that when I was 14, 15, yeah. it's like, it's like, it's like, yeah. well, you know, you were a kid, but at the same time, it's like, you should have had someone read it. Yeah, exactly, exactly, but, you know, a lot of people, parents, like, a lot of people don't really know about music. Of course. You know, so they might they might not have any outsources to where they can get help on that. Mm -hmm. You know, it might just be a young kid excited when we won't sign. I mean, you know, the parents might look, scan through it, don't really see anything. They sign it too, think they're good. You know, they just like, they're excited for that first wave of cash. So, you know, they might just make irrational decisions and later, later on and come back to bite them. Right, not nah, a thousand percent. And, it's, and like, even like, you know, something you had tweeted out like the end of this year, you were like, wrote, lost it all, but I'm gaining it. No, lost it all, I'm gaining it back right right about now, right? Yeah, most definitely. And that was like Thanksgiving time. I think it's like, what day? November 25th. Yeah, no, nah, most definitely. 100%. Um, with that, for real, for real, I, um, so with that, I, I got this prayer for real, for real, I would say, um, 
And I don't say it all the time. I just say it like when I'm just feeling like kind of lost or I feel like something comes out of place, you know. And I I tell God like strip everything away from me. I don't care how much it hurt. I don't care how 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 low it breaks me. Break me all the way down and rebuild me stronger than ever. You know what I'm saying? And um, I said that earlier this year. I started losing friends, um, cutting ties with a lot of habits. Um, just a lot of things I couldn't. I had. I had no control of, you know, mm-hmm. just really broke me down. And around that time, I started feeling like I started the rebuilding process, you know. Um, so really, I, I shared that message. But for real, for real, I don't really, like, that. that's only happened probably like twice to me, you know. And now I feel like I'm re-going through it for the mm-hmm. second time. Mm. Like right now? Yeah, like I still like, yeah. Like you're building definitely. up right now. Yeah, 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 yeah most building. definitely. Yeah. So what are we building up towards right now? Like, what is kind of like your goal going into twenty twenty three now? Greatness, man. We building up the greatness, legendary status. Um, for real, for real, this year I'm trying to just get consistent. Um, just get get in a great mental space, uh, mental space, stay consistent, and really just keep everything rolling. It's just about building it, really enjoying it this time. You know. Mm-hmm. So we working on some projects, a tour. Yeah, most definitely. Um, uh, I'm trying to at least get like two albums out. I was speaking on that earlier today. Like we were talking about like the NBA Young Boy fight, like just drop yeah. it. Yeah, uh huh. Yeah, most definitely. Everything calculated though. Right, you gotta do it the right way too. Yeah. But like you also like I like how it's like the song you performed today. Like that one isn't on DSPs, right? That one's only um, on YouTube. Not yet. We we're, we're working on it. It should be up for real. For real. Hopefully soon. By the yeah, time people yeah, see this. Yeah. yeah, but I like how you've been dropping like the extra Lucy's on YouTube too, just kind of like as a way. Very much like like we said with the Young Boy, like where it's just like okay, we're gonna put this out on YouTube, and then when we get up on DSPs. We get it up on DSPs, but like, you know, for the people who watch your YouTube, subscribe, who know, it's like, all right, cool. You could always go there and there's going to be like some extra new music there aside yeah, from like exactly. what you can listen to on streaming too. Yeah. I, 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 for real, for real, I feel like that's more feeding the fans. Like the ones that really pay attention, the ones that you could upload something with no promotion and they're going to tune in, really listen to what you're saying. I feel like that's really like your core fan base. Right. So, okay, so we got some projects coming this year, right? Two projects, hopefully. What yeah. else are you working on this year? What else that we got cooking that the people got to know about? Um, I'm, most def- I'm, I'm most definitely stepping out um, this year and traveling. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm trying to hit everybody's city, so, you know, I might be in your city this year. Mm-hmm. Anybody trying to work, you know what I'm saying, get some things in motion, you could hit me up, follow me on all social media platforms, Stay Solid Rocky. Yep. Um, my TikTok is the real Stay Solid Rocky. Um, shit, follow me, tune in. I might be in your city and we get some work going. Right. And I also want to make a point that there was like a post that you had on your IG, right? And it was like somebody on TikTok being like, what happened to Say Solid Rocky? The boy's right here. He got some fire music out right now. Yes, sir. New EP out right now. He's independent. He's doing himself. And we're doing greatness all 2023. Yes, sir. Most definitely, man. We, we, we putting ourselves in position to receive our blessings. Boom. I love that, man. I think that's a great place to end it. You already said all your social media, so I ain't got to ask you to do all that. Yes, sir. So make sure you go follow my guy um, on all social medias, you know what I'm saying? Uh, go run up the performance of Rerun Out Now. Um, go run up all the projects he has out now, the independent ones, especially all the new singles he's released as well. Everything on the YouTube. Um, go show him some love. Go show him some support. Love is free. Support is free. But try to do that. Till next time. Stay solid, Rocky. On the radar. We out. Boom. My yes, brother. sir. Love. <laughs>